Good afternoon, YouTubers. Robin's Garden here. Um, well, here's that zucchini, and you can see the other one. And my intention with this today was to cook it up and hide it in some pierogies. And but I'm not so sure about this one anymore. As you could tell, I already cut it up. It's already cut. That's how big it was. But we've been having a hundred degree weather, and this almost feels like it's already cooked. And I guess it doesn't smell bad. I don't know. I maybe it'll be fine. I mean, I just took it out of the garden like ten minutes ago. So, but like I said, this is how big it was. <laughs> and then it's sibling. And I was gonna cut them both up and make some. Uh, you know, pierogi dough with it, or not the dough, but the inside. So we'll see. I'll let you know if I actually did it. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's fresh out of the garden, so just it kind of. You know, it doesn't smell like zucchini anymore, and it looks like a pumpkin. So that's kind of interesting. So, wow, this is what you get when you let your uh, zucchini go too big. But I, I, been letting you've seen it in the other videos. So, okay. I will get to work on this. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Friday, August 26th. It's 103 degrees today, so I'm not going to be outside doing any videos. What I'm showing here right now is the zucchini. Remember those giant zucchinis I showed you a couple videos ago? Well, this is how much product I got out of it. Two cups. There's I measured out two cups into this plastic and then folded it up. And wrote on it, it says two cups. And this one's two cups. Now I put savory because I had cooked this also with um, onion and garlic. And I put one can of mixed vegetable in with it because it was supposed to be for my pierogies. Pri I don't know how you say it, those dumpling things. So um, when I get, as I make more, I'll make another batch that doesn't, it's not savory, so that I could use it for sweetbreads, for zucchini bread or, or muffins or what, whatnot. And then this is, I kept the veg, I kept the stock that I cooked it in, so I got nine blocks. This is two cups of stock. And how I did that was I froze them in these containers, and then after they were frozen, I plopped them out. And I wrapped them in this cellophane that I've had forever. Here's my cellophane roll. You can see that. See how thick that is? My husband found this somewhere. It's what you actually use to uh, roll, uh, to um, wrap pallets in. Look how big that is in the camera. And I've been using this for a while, for a couple of years. For, well, more than a couple of years. Probably about 17 years. Still got plenty to go, but it works well. Then what I'll do is I'll just take scissors when I want to use this and just cut this and see what I can use this uh, zucchini mash for is uh, like I could put it in a meatloaf or uh, add it to uh, soups or stews would be really good. Uh, last night I had made spaghetti and I was in the process of getting my stock um, frozen so what I had some stock still out here not frozen obviously so I used a couple cups of that to add to my spaghetti sauce so I live in a house full of people who do not like to eat vegetables so I'm trying to uh, get vegetables into them any which way I can so that seems to be a good plan now this vegetable stock it's the only thing it has in it is a little bit of salt from I put in the water then it, it's cooked that giant zucchini and uh, half an onion and two big big cloves of garlic and then when I opened the can of the vegetables I drained the water from the vegetables so you can see there's some carrot in there I drained the, wa uh, the, the liquid from the can into the pot that this was sitting in so it's truly vegetable stock it's not just zucchini stock and this will be great for, you know, just about everything. This is two cups of liquid, and I wrote on it, I don't know if you can see, 
but it's uh, two cups of liquid, and I put it, it's uh, August 11th is all I put on it. Two cups of zucchini, and then when I want to, I'm going to do this again, like I said, and I'll still do it with two cups, because most recipes, for like especially for the bread, call for two cups. So I thought I would do an update to show you what happened to my zucchini, all is well. Have a great day. How's your garden coming along? Talk to you in a little while. Bye-bye.